This is how you make a light box inside of a Google Sheet. I'm going to show you a very simple formula to do this, and then we'll add a very simple apps script to make some things automated. The first thing that we need are two columns here. I've got some thumbnails in column A, and furthermore, I have named this range column A rows 2 through 11, so that's going to be called picks. And then I've done the same thing for these checkboxes in column B, uh, B2 through B11, or is going to be the named range checkboxes. Okay, so all this is is simply insert image into cell, browse your computer, grab an image, and you've got thumbnails over here in column A in this named range of picks. Then you've got the checkboxes over here in column B. And to get a checkbox in column B, all you got to do is go down to data validation and it is a type of validation. The criteria at the bottom should be set to checkbox. Okay, so that's all the setup we need here. Then over in this range, I've just merged some cells together so that we have a big image displayed here. And all I'm using is an XLOOKUP statement. So this simply looks for the value true from the range checkboxes. So it sees which one is checked and true. And then it matches it up with the thumbnail in the result range, which is picks in column A. And if there's no, uh, if there's a missing value, if there's nothing there, then it'll return an empty string. But the way we've got it, there's always going to be something because we toggle it on and off using some apps script. Let's hop into the app script, extensions, app script. And here is the on edit function that is causing the automation to happen. This is not necessary for it to work. And in fact, if we comment all this out and save it, you'll see that this still works. However, the difference is I've got to manually uncheck and check each one. So the way XLOOKUP works is it's going to return the first one that's checked. So it's returning this guy right here. Even though I've got four things checked, it's just looking for the first one. So I've got to manually undo, uncheck these others if I want uh, different images to display and it's not the first one. So to get around that, uh, you know, you can just uncheck stuff or We've written this code right here on edit to where anytime we edit something, it's going to grab the range that we just edited. So that'll be whatever checkbox we checked. It's going to grab all of the checkboxes by this get range by name using the checkboxes name. And then it's going to do a little check here, this if statement. It's going to say, hey, is this in the range of our checkboxes? Is this in B2 through B11? And if it is, well, we're going to uncheck everything. We're going to uncheck all the other checkboxes, and then we're going to check the one that we just changed. And if you watch this, you can see it happen. If I click in B3, all of them are going to be cleared for just a split second before B3 is then checked again. So that's just the app script running. Again, that's not necessary. All that's necessary is this simple XLOOKUP statement. There is one more, more complicated way that I want to show you because this is really the sleek version. Let's go here and insert another image. And this time we're going to insert it over the cells. So we don't want it in a cell. And in fact, we cannot have it in a cell. The way this works, it's got to be over the cell because we're going to attach a script straight to this image. So I'm going to size this down. And then right up here in the top right corner, you can't see it, but there's three little dots. You can't see it because the background's already black, but we can assign a script to this image. I'm going to go back into the code here where I've added another function. Don't worry, I'll explain it in just a second. I'm going to copy and paste the name of it right here though, and show you that now when I click that eagle's head, check this out. We've got a legitimate pop-up box. This is called a modal dialog and it's got an HTML element in it, which is just this image that you're seeing. So let me explain the couple caveats that you should know about if you're gonna go this route. Over here in our code, we've got the sheet itself. We're just using Get Active Sheet, And then we have image URL. This has gotta be an image URL. So the image itself, it lives over here on Unsplash. I'm just using this URL to grab the image and then I'm using this image URL right here in our HTML element that we're creating in this line. It takes a source, which is this address for the image, and then you can set width and height parameters as I've done here in style. 
And then down here we create, or we grab rather the UI element that's built in, and we create a show modal dialogue element, which is the actual pop-up box that we see, the light box, if you will. And calling the HTML service, we create HTML output using this HTML variable, which is simply this one element, the image element. We're manually setting width and height on that because if we don't do this, it comes out landscape mode and a little bit smaller than I wanted, especially for this magnificent eagle. So I've arbitrarily set this to 700 by 1000. And then whatever you write here, this is just the title that will pop up. Okay, and that's how we can run this and get this beautiful eagle with the title and emoji up here at the top. Now, if you can't uh, use a URL, if you can't find an image that's living on the internet or host it somewhere where you can access it, that may not be the best use case for you, but it is the slicker version. Uh, incidentally, I'll show you one more thing. If we try to drag this around, if we need to move it or resize it, you'll find that, hey, I can't. You actually have to, after assigning a script to an image, you have to right click on it before the resize things will pop up and then you can grab it and move it around to your heart's content. But when you click off it again, it's kind of stationary and just lets you click it. All right, hope this is helpful. Let me know in the comments. Now check out this next video I did on all the other ways to add images and manipulate them inside of a Google Sheet. Hey, if this was helpful, consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what else you would like me to do in Google Sheets. Love making tutorials like this. Hope you have a great one and goodbye.